Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you my mobile miter saw station that I built. Uh, the miter saw is probably one of the most utilized tools in my shop, so I wanted to give it a nice comfy home. The station is equipped with a lot of cool useful features on it that I'm excited to show you, so let's go check it out. So here's the miter saw station all finished up. Turned out great, couldn't be happier. It's perfect for making those repetitious cuts. Uh, for anyone interested in actually how I built this, it's pretty basic construction. At the bottom here, I did a two by four frame. Um, underneath that, it's attached with three quarter inch plywood. So it makes a nice box. Uh, attached six casters around the outside corners there. There's two in the middle and four on the ends that actually lock. So once they're locked down, the cart stays really secure in place. Um, on top, the frame, then I added uh, three cabinets here. Now they're just cabinets from a big box store. Uh, this is over here is a 24 inch, this is a 12 inch, and then this is a 24 inch. Um, on top of that, I added a three quarter inch sheet of MDF for the work surface. And then over here, actually where the miter saw is mounted, it's the same uh, two by four frame set up with another three quarter inch layer of MDF on top of there. Now I wanna bring the camera over and show you the next best part about the whole station here. So let's go check that out. So here we got the Craig Precision Stop Kit System. This has been a game changer since I make a lot of repetitious cuts with the projects that I do in my shop. Uh, so I'll throw a link in the description for anybody who's interested. But in the kit, it comes with a T-Track, it comes with a swing stop, also comes with another stop block as well, and some adhesive measuring tape to put onto the T-Track. Um, I do a lot of small repetitious cuts with my projects. So I found, I just made a 24 inch spacer out of a two by four, which I pop up against the stop block. And now I can start making all the small repetitious cuts that I want pretty easily. Uh, the T-Track I mounted to a three quarter inch piece of MDF. And on the back of that MDF, I just installed these brackets and I can unscrew these uh, bolts here if I wanted to and remove this whole entire unit. Now I have a whole solid work surface if I want to utilize that if I decide to. Uh, in my shop, I have dust collection. So I installed this PowerTech uh, Big Gulp dust hood. Uh, I'll put a link for that in the description below. Uh, it's done a really nice job uh, with collecting a lot of the dust that comes off the miter saw. Definitely helpful for keeping the shop a little bit cleaner, which we all know can get pretty dirty when you're using a miter saw. On the back of the cabinets here, just to utilize the dead space a little bit, I found a blackboard over at like Michael's or craft store. Uh, installed that on the back there. Great for keeping track of all the upcoming projects and builds that I wanna make. So that's basically about it. If you have any other questions, put a comment in below and I'll try to get back with you. Thanks.